Hello again, friends, and thank you for joining me once again. Now, despite everything that they'd had to go through, when Israel encountered difficulties in the wilderness, they wanted to return to their old life of slavery in Egypt. The security of the known was less threatening to them than the challenges of the unknown. So the Lord said to them, not once, but twice, which we can read in Deuteronomy chapter 31, verse 6, Be strong and courageous. Do not be afraid of them. The Lord your God will go ahead of you. He will neither fail you nor forsake you. But of course, the unknown can be pretty scary, can't it? And often we can choose to stay in a bad situation or return to one because it feels safer than stepping into something completely new. But the promise God made to the Israelites is the same promise that he makes to each one of us today. He will be with us and he'll go ahead of us. While what's ahead is unknown to us, it's known by God and he'll walk with us into it. Fear can, of course, be crippling, can't it? It stops us from moving forwards. But when we take action and move forward anyway, we overcome the fear. A lot of the men and women in the Bible who God called to do great things felt inadequate and told God they couldn't do it. And God responded to them by saying things like we can read in Isaiah chapter 41, verse 10, which says, I will strengthen you and help you. I will hold you up with my victorious right hand. So whatever the opportunity or obstacle we're facing today, we need to factor God in. With him on our side, what we have is always greater than whatever we lack. And we can walk forwards even when we feel fear, because we know that God will strengthen and uphold us and he'll walk alongside us into the unknown. And so today I'd like to invite you to memorise one of those two Bible verses, either Deuteronomy chapter 31 verse 6 or Isaiah 41 verse 10. That's Deuteronomy 31 6 or Isaiah 41 10. And then take the opportunity to repeat them to yourself whenever you're feeling fearful of stepping into something new. Deuteronomy 31 verse 6 said, Be strong and courageous. Do not be afraid of them. The Lord your God will go ahead of you. He will neither fail you nor forsake you. And then Isaiah 41 verse 10. I will strengthen you and help you. I will hold you up with my victorious right hand. So let's pray together. We'll say the grace. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us all evermore. Amen.